Welcome to the CompTIA Network Plus N10008 practice exam. In this video, we will walk you through some simple questions and provide you with tips and tricks to help you succeed on the exam. Whether you are new to the networking or looking to expand your knowledge, this video will help you feel more confident and prepare for the CompTIA Network N10008 exam. All right, still on domain 2.0 network implementations, uh, which makes up to 19% of the exam and passing score is 720 on a scale of, of 100 to 900. And uh, yes, we are still with the objective 2.4, giving a scenario installed and configured the appropriate wireless standards and technologies. Question one. A WLAN formed directly between wireless clients without the use of a wireless access point is referred to as what type of WLAN? Is it A, Enterprise Mode, B, IBSS, C, Personal Mode, or D, BSS? Correct answer is B, IBSS. An independent BSS, IBSS is formed directly between wireless clients. Question two, when extending the range for a 2.4 gigahertz WLAN, you can use non-overlapping channels for adjacent coverage cells. However, there should be some overlap in coverage between those cells using non-overlapping channels to prevent a connection for dropping as a user roams from one coverage cell to another. What percentage of coverage overlap is recommended for these adjacent cells? A, between 5% to 10%. B, between 10% to 15%, C, between 15% to 20%, or D, between 20% to 25%. Correct answer is B, between 10% to 15%. The recommended amount of overlap is between 10% to 15%. Question 3. If a WLAN does not need a user to provide credentials to associate with a wireless access point and access the WLAN, what type of authentication is in use? A. WAP B. SSID C. Open or D. Initialization Vector Quark answer is C. Open. Open authentication permits the use of the wireless LAN with no credentials. This is useful in a public, free Wi-Fi hotspot, or in a guest area in an enterprise. WP's R4 approach to encryption uses a 24-bit string of characters added to the transmitted data, such that the same plain text data frame will never appear as the same WEP encrypted data frame. What is this string of character called? A. Initialization vector. B. Chips, C. Autogonal descriptor, or D. Session key. Quark answer is initialization vector. WP's R4 approach to encryption uses a 24-bit string of characters added to the transmitted data, such that the same plain text data frame will never appear as the same WEP encrypted data frame. What is this string of character called? A. Initialization vector, B. Chips, C. Autogonal descriptor or D. Session key. Quark answer is initialization vector. The string of characters is an initialization vector or IV. Which standard developed by the Wi Fi Alliance implements the requirements of uh, IEEE 802.11i? A. TKIP, B. MIC, C. WEP, or D. WPA2. Correct answer is D, WPA2. The IEEE 802.11i requirements are found in WPA2. Question 6. Which security technique uses wireless technologies to create an invisible boundary around some point? A, WPA3, B, LTE, C, wall driving, or D, geofencing? Quark answer is D, geofencing. Geofencing permits the creation of a boundary for administrative alerts and actions. Thank you for watching the CompCIE N10008 practice exam. We hope you found it informative and useful in your exam preparation. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.